Hello Bard Haters, and welcome to another fine We Hate Bards Let's Play. I'm Ben, and this is Fallout New Vegas Hardcore Permadeath. Last time we dealt with Good Springs, um, or at least did all the tutorial stuff in Good Springs. Um, killed a bunch of geckos. Cheyenne died, unfortunately, tragically, in a heroic accident. And um, now we are on our way to the NCRCF to go and see if we can maybe make friends with the Powder Gangers. But first, Gene Skydiving. Let's see if there's anything useful inside. So what we've got in here is a locked locker. Um, most important thing is the weapon repair kit over here. Uh, there aren't many of these in the game, especially if you didn't take Courier Stash, which I didn't. So this will be extremely useful for me. Um, as far as the locked locker, as you can see, it is locked average, which I do not have average lock picking yet. But, if we go over here, on the table, there's a key as well as a Sunset Sarsaparilla Star Bottle Cap. Now we can just use the key on the locker and help ourselves to what's inside. And apparently what's inside is a plasma pistol, which could be useful. Uh, there's also an ammo box up here. <gasps> Got some energy cells out of there. Hello nice. There. It's good to see what a the? Face. Malcolm Holmes? I took you for a raider, I did. Name's Malcolm. Well, Malcolm Holmes. I suppose better to deal with you Don't now than later. Rule number one of the Wasteland, Malcolm Holmes. Never turn your back on somebody. Because you never know if they might be a complete and utter psychopath. There we go. <clears throat> so yeah, Malcolm Holmes will spawn... Um, after you collect your first Sunset uh, Sarsaparilla Star Bottle Cap. Which I did in Good Springs. And it'll usually take him about a day to get to you. Why did he have 308 rounds on him? He didn't have a sniper rifle. Or any weapon, really. Jeez, that was unfortunate. We will take his uh, uniform off of him, because barter plus 10 for that little weight could be really useful. So now that we're done with Malcolm Holmes, we can head towards the NCRCF. And these powder gangers here um, are not hostile toward me. I hear that they are in the 360 version, but in the PC version, as long as you did not do a Ghost Town gunfight, they will not be hostile towards you. Um, alternatively, if you're playing the PS3 version, they won't be here at all. Um, which I found weird the first time I played the PC version. It's like, what are their powder gangers here for? Oh well. Um, but, even though they're not hostile, you know what might be hostile to you? Bloat flies. And I hate bloat flies. Ah! Dead bloat fly. So, as we come up over this hilltop, we will see the NCRCF over there in the distance. And we're going to walk right up and see if they'll let us in. So here we are, NCRCF, and right there at the doors, we have Dawes, which is appropriate. Dawes by the door. I don't know, it just seems appropriate to me. So, let's see if he'll let us in. Hey there, girly. You here to party with the Powder Gangers? Yes, I am. Wait. I thought there was supposed to be a Black Widow option there to allow us to go in. There isn't the PS3 version. Oh, well. And this one, apparently, we can't. Um. This? So we're going to ask him about the NCRCF. Apparently they just staged a riot and killed the NCR. And now Eddie is in charge of the prison. Hundred caps sounds right to me. Yeah. Normally, um, I would consider sneak attacking him and killing him to avoid paying the hundred caps. But given that this is a permadeath, and um, if I get discovered, I would have to fight the entire prison or just ignore it. Neither of those things I'm really prepared to do. So we'll just give him the hundred caps. And, um, yeah. we'll get it back off of him when we inevitably help the NCR take this place over. So, inside the correctional facility, we have a few people kind of milling about. Over there is Myers, who we'll need for a quest later, so I'll have to make sure to talk to him before I leave. But interestingly enough, this guy over here, this lone powder ganger, um, even if you've never interacted with the powder gangers up until now, he will say the same thing, and that is this. Hey, I've been sent to tell you that. While you're not exactly a friend, we know you've helped us out some all the same. We figure some kind of truce is in order. As long as you don't come too close to any of our camps, we'll let you pass without trying to kill you. Of course, the... <clears throat> Never really understood what the point of that little message was. Um, because I, I've officially... The only thing I've done with the Powder Gangers was... I saw Joe Cobb, I talked to him, and then I said goodbye. And other than that, and my interaction with Dawes here... I've literally never even spoken to or really seen any other powder gangers. So I don't know. 
a weird little quirk in the game. I guess it kind of assumes that um, that you did, you know, run Good Springs Run. Maybe it doesn't, I don't know. So Eddie's here in the NCRCF building. He is on the top floor. Let's see if he's willing to let us do any work for him. Said he let somebody in. So you going to give me a reason not to kill you and throw your body back outside? Um, I have a gun. I mean, I don't know if I could kill all of your bodyguards by myself, but I could at least kill you. Um, let's ask him what he needs done. This let's be nice. Your territory. My territory. Chavez formed his own crew and been hitting trade. That. All right. Um, this sounds like tedious, busy work, but uh, I could totally go do that for you. So the first thing Eddie wants us to go do is deal with Chavez, who was apparently a rogue powder ganger, who has started hitting, who has started going after tourists and other groups on his own, and apparently not paying tribute to Eddie, I guess, and other horrible powder ganger things. So to get to Chavez, all we need to do is go pretty much straight west from the NCRCF, and he's right over there by that boxcar. Now. If you were doing a more, I guess, psychotic run, um, one of the easiest ways to actually deal with Chavez would be if we have a varmint rifle, which we do. And if you get down, Chavez is that guy right there. We could shoot him from here and probably kill him in one shot. But I'm not going to do that. I'm. I put a bunch of points into speech for one particular reason. I'm going to try and be as non-violent as I can in this run. I'm still going to kill a lot of people, particularly anyone who messes with me, but I'm going to try not to start trouble if I can help it. Um, just because I don't even want to take the risk of, you know, getting Damn, murdered. Running low on smokes again. So, you just Chavez. The wrong camp, my friend. Hand over everything you've got and we Oh, I don't think so. For you see, I am here on behalf of Eddie. That's nothing new. Well, you're not supposed to be impressed, but, um... If you keep sending enough people, eventually one of them is going to kill you. Uh, probably me if I were to try, because you've only got, like, three people helping you. And none of them are armored. So yeah, Speech of 30 will let you deal with that with no violence whatsoever. Also, while you're out here, free Dino Toy doesn't belong to anybody, and it weighs nothing. So, now we have a Dino Toy. So, now that we're back in the NCRCF, let's go tell Eddie that we've done the job well. What? Uh, yeah, Chavez is going to leave. I convinced him to kind of go away. I'm happy you cleared that up for me, but we've got another situation. To as work long as you're willing to pay me for it. Hanging around near something. If there's one thing I love, it's I helping people and making lots and lots of caps. Down if he's legit, but if not, take him out. Okay. What is funny about it? Um, I didn't even listen to what was funny about it. So let's go and uh, apparently there's a fake merchant hanging around. Uh, so we're gonna go and try and scare him off. So, we've come back to Gene's skydiving because this is where the merchant is hanging out. And he's just kind of chilling there by the wall. Um, traveling surprisingly well for a merchant. He's got armor, he's got a, uh, a shotgun. Um, this seems a bit peculiar. Better be careful around these parts. I hear there's powder gangers around and dangerous for merchants like me. Then why are you still here? So with Intelligence 6, we can just flat out state that, uh, he doesn't have a pack brahmin or a bodyguard, which most other merchants do. So that's a really easy one. But if you um, if you want actual experience and you have a high enough speech, which is only 30 speech, mind you, um, you could just uh, tell him that a real merchant will be more worried about the powder gangers. Guess I was a little too obvious. I'm actually a just a little bit. I was hoping to bag some powder gangers if they tried to rob me. Um. Well, you better leave while you can. Uh. They did kind of hire me to kill you, and. You know, I'm prepared yeah. to do it. Now, interesting thing I want to point out here. This is a merchant slash bounty hunter who wants to go after powder gangers for a bounty. Powder gangers right there. Wants to go after powder gangers for a bounty. Powder gangers right there. Good job doing what you're doing. So once again, we're back to talk to Eddie for our reward that I don't think we've gotten yet. But maybe we'll get lucky this time. What? Yeah, Eddie, I uh, got rid of that merchant. Um, he wasn't exactly a merchant. He kind of wanted to kill you guys, but uh, don't worry. Given he was just one guy and couldn't even prove capable of killing two powder gangers that were right next to him, I don't see him as much of a threat. So, Eddie wants us to go to Prim now and see if the NCR is planning anything. 
Um, presumably the NCR is always planning something because, you know, they're a government entity. But let's see if they have any plans relating to the Powder Gangers. So as I sort of go on my way towards Prim, um, I'm kind of going to explain my rationale for how I'm planning to do this. Because with doing I Fought the Law can only really end one of two ways. Either you side with the Powder Gangers against the NCR, and you lose some NCR rep, um, which can hurt you later. Or you can side with the NCR, kill the Powder Gangers, which, you know, you only have to, de have to deal with the Powder Gangers around here. However, we will have to come back at a couple points to do stuff with Good Springs and Prims and, and a couple other areas. And in particular, there's an area right over there that you can't really see, or not right over there, way over there past the NCR, or NCRCF, that you can't really see. We're going to have to go there later. If there's Powder Gangers in the area, they will get angry and shoot at me. So, I haven't really determined. I think I kind of know which way I'm going to go with it anyway. Uh, also, each option provides variable risk in the immediate sense. Because if you side with the Powder Gangers, then you can just leave and the NCR and the Powder Gangers will duke it out. Um, but, on the way out, you will likely encounter some NCR who will want to kill you. However, if you side with the NCR um, and go up against the Powder Gangers, you'll need to parta participate in the invasion, and uh, you can take some damage. Uh, nothing I necessarily think I can't heal. Also, uh, I'm going to try and be a moderately good character, and it'll also help me out for uh, hey, doing the good, finishing up in Good Springs. Oh, uh, yeah. I can, I can take care of myself. I'm fine. This guy doesn't want to let us in because apparently NCR got overrun by convicts. And they're too lazy to go in there and sort it out themselves, so I guess we're going to have to do it. Well, since he's being such a dick, I guess I'm just going to take all of his stuff. So yeah, all that's technically considered stealing, but considering that uh, angry McDouchebag wasn't bothering to guard it and is instead busy telling off perfectly well-meaning travelers to not go near Prim, I guess it's his loss. So a quick look around before we go into Prim. There's a first aid kit on the opposite side of the road that we're just going to take a bunch of stuff from. And then if we go up this little ramp right here, this little makeshift ramp from Rubble, there is a, uh, another ammo box right up here. The other thing that's up here is a bed. So, you can always sleep here if you need to. It's uh, just a free bed. My sleep is okay for the minute. Uh, my water, on the other hand, is getting up there a little bit. So, I probably need to watch that. And you'd think the NCR would be guarding this stuff better. I mean, there is talk, especially later, of the NCR being stretched for supplies and troops and everything else. And, uh, given that these guys just apparently let strangers come into their camp and don't bother guarding the ammo cans they've placed all around it, it's not hard to understand why they're having such a problem with supplies. You know, not that guarding it would actually give them any distinct advantage in me not taking it. As you can see, he still doesn't notice, even though he's standing right there. Hell, even these two, I can just stand right behind him, off to the side a little bit, and... All of my ammo. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the NCR's finest. Alright, so with most of the ammo gone from this area, I now need to get past this. This is going to be a bit interesting to deal with, because if I get too close and they blow up on me, I could probably take the hit, the damage won't be too bad, but it will cripple a limb, and on hardcore mode, that's a bit rough to deal with. But on the other hand, I do kind of want those mines. Yep, there's one. Got all three. I thought there was supposed to be four. Watch me find it with my feet. So now that that's done, we can go into Prim proper. Uh, we need to get into the Vicky and Vance Casino. But there are two convicts guarding the door. And uh, these convicts, interestingly enough, are not Powder Ganger aligned. They're just, you know, random enemies you fight. You fight. Uh, they'll be hostile to you no matter what you do. And uh, if you kill them, it won't affect your reputation with Powder Gangers. Easiest way I've found to do it, come up here in this little building and then just snipe them off. It tends to work a lot better if you hit them. Uh, by the way, while you're up here, be sure to grab this uh, skill magazine, Milsurp Review. I believe it gives a plus 10 temporary to guns. It looks like the convicts are just kind of chilling out behind that pillar. They don't seem interested in coming after me. So... Uh, I'm just gonna go and deal with them, I guess. Okay, there they go, there they go, that's... Now they're interested in dealing with me. Alright. 
plan B. Because they're out, they are going to come up to this little doorway eventually. I think. Or maybe they won't. You seriously just going to chill out back there? Alright. That was a really weird fight. Okay. He's also not interested in chasing me. Since there's only one of them, submachine so gun it up. Where are you going? Are you kidding me? You're not getting away. Fucking shot me a bunch. You dick. Ooh, I might need to get my weapons repaired soon, because both my varmint rifle and my submachine gun are looking a bit, uh, in bad shape. Oh, luckily he has a varmint rifle on him that he did not use. Uh, cleaver, do I need that? Eh, not really. I do need a decent melee weapon, because the pool cue isn't cutting it. So now that we've dealt with those powder gangers out in front, we're going to go over here to the sheriff sheriff's office real quick, before we actually enter the Vicky Advance. Um, the reason is there's one thing in here we do want. We're not going to use it right now, but we might use it uh, to repair another thing later. Uh, so right under here, in case you didn't know about it, Cowboy Repeater. Um, on the PS3 version, by the way, the Cowboy Repeater is doing a bit of a glitchy dance, so be aware of that. And then in here we have the tragic tale of the sheriff and his wife, who were brutally murdered by exploding head viruses. It was it was a very sad tale, um, and that just goes to show you how uh, how brutal that some of these wasteland diseases can be. So uh, you know, always wear a condom. Anyway, over here we have their clothes that were taken off of them for some reason, including the sheriff's duster and the sheriff's hat, which I'm going to take because I quite like the sheriff's hat. I like it more than the stupid cowboy hat that I am wearing. So, and it gives the exact same thing: perception plus one. So that's going on. Uh, also, ooh, I can get water here, but I will also get irradiated. Decisions, decisions. Somewhere around here, there's got to be a clean water source. If not, I'm going to have to find one. So once you've looted the sheriff's office, you can come into the Vicky advance, and we'll speak to Johnson Nash, who will tell us that the town is kind of screwy right now. We're going to ask him if the NCR is planning to attack the NCRCF. Um, with barter 30 or speech of 30, um, you can actually kind of talk your way out of it, or you can just pay him the 100 caps, which I'm not going to do. I'm going to speech my way out of it. According to him... <clears throat> so an NCR deserter told Johnson Nash that the NCR is planning to attack Prim. <clears throat> and given that I don't want to get the NCR pissed off at me quite yet, I'm going to uh, I'm going to go and tell the NCR that I want to work with them. For right now, hey, before I do any of that, I'm going to talk to him again, ask him questions, tell him I'm a courier, uh, I lost a package, we'll ask oh. him about our weird job, and then he's going to tell us what? that a man in a checkered suit went off to, into the distance. Well, for that, now he's please. gonna let us know that we have to talk to Deputy Beagle, which we're gonna do right now before we go and uh, <clears throat> before we go and uh, do uh, ghost or not ghost town gunfight. Before we do any of the other quests, we are gonna do my kind of town. So before we can go back and deal with what's his nuts, we have to find Deputy Beagle. So Deputy Beagle is trapped in here in the Bison Steve Hotel, and there's quite a few powder gangers inside. Who are all going to be a little bit angry with me, but that's fine. None of them are that tough. There's one guy later on, their leader, who has a flamethrower. He's a bit nasty. Most of them will go down relatively easily. That one will uh, do a little dance as he does so. 
So before we go deal with the rest of them, we're going to get into this room here, which again is uh, locked with a hard lockpick. But if you have easy science, you can avoid it. Admittedly, that does mean you have to deal with the with the god awful hacking mini game, but at least you can do it. And the correct password was servant. So now I can gain access to the room. Assuming it doesn't smack us in the face. Alright, so the key. We'll use that for the elevator in a minute. We've also got a first aid kit in here. Usually has at least one or two stimpaks in there. Some mentats. Blood pack. And then this safe, which again is average lock. But uh, we should have enough. We should level up here soon and then we can come back and get what's in that safe. Um, over here we have a pistol, we have a ton of medex, as well as several caps, and some radex. So now that we've been in that room, we can go on and we can deal with the rest of the bandits real quick. Or, the raiders, they're not bandits in this game, Ben. Uh, we'll go in that room in a second. First off, we're gonna kill our way through here. And actually, the easiest way to do it, um, there's things there. Uh, we have the maintenance key. We can just go right through this door and sneak in the back way. So, we got a bad guy right there. He's going to sit down like an idiot and it's going to give us a nice clear headshot. Oh, that was good. Where the hell are you going, dude? It says they're alerted to me and yet I'm hidden. Well, they're going to go out. Oh, shit. They're not. Right, I guess it's go time. Time to use something I haven't had to use yet. Come on, you bastard. Shit, have to reload. Ooh, a tire iron. That might be a useful weapon, actually. So I think they're mostly dead. I took some damage from that, but I'm going to sleep here in a minute, so it doesn't matter. Hello, I Deputy Beagle. Please get out of here and then run. Uh, yep. You can tell me you're- oh, you can tell me you're Kun Rotten here. He'll tell us anyway. And that'll give us 36 experience for, uh, making that speech check. And then we'll just set him free. And we'll tell him to run away, largely because I don't want to risk him getting killed. Because I've had that happen before, where I freed him and it's like, Yo, stand with me and kill them! And, uh, if they're dead, it's one thing, because if they're dead, he'll just run to the end. But if they're not, he will usually get himself killed. And hey, apparently we're out of, we're out of uh, hostility now. So, level three. Uh, lockpick, as I said, will be very important to get up. I'm only going to get it up to 40, though. Because um, I just need to get into that safe for the minute. As for the other five points, they're going to go into melee weapons. So, in case I need to sneak attack kill people, which I may need to do, that will be uh, a bit more effective. And now that I have a tire iron, it might even be more useful to use that. Also, don't forget the Sunset Sarsaparilla Star Bottle Cap over here on the counter. And now that all that's done, we can go into this room, and uh, we can loot it silly. Uh, hard lock saved here, we can't get into yet, but we can get the Tales of a Junktown Jerky Vendor. And uh, all the pre-war money that's in here. And now, we're actually going to use Tales of a Junktown Jerky Vendor. Normally... If this were Fallout 3, I would wait until after I'd gotten uh, Comprehension. I almost never get Comprehension in here um, for two reasons. One, because um, you only get a perk every other level in this one, so your perks are much more limited. In addition, there's you know much more useful perks for you to take, so Comprehension isn't necessarily as useful relatively. But secondly, uh, in this one, the skill books give you three points by default and only one additional with Comprehension. So... There's also a lot less of them. So comprehension isn't anywhere near as useful in this game as it is in Fallout 3. And as a result, I never take it. I'm just going to use Tales of Junkton Jerky Vendor and get my barter up by 3. The other thing I'm going to do now, that I have a lockpick of 40, I'm going to use a, a locksmith's reader. Because I got one from Sunny Smiles. I should have gotten one from Sunny Smiles. Where's my locksmith's reader? Right. Apparently I didn't get the locksmith's reader from Sunny Smiles. That's unfortunate. So now that we're out here, we need to find Deputy Beagle wherever the fuck he got off to. Hey, there he is. Well, that was quite a break. Yeah, you broke yourself out. Great for you. 
Um, now tell me about the man in the checkered suit. And he's gonna tell us that they were heading through Nipton. Hello again. Oh. What are the qualifications for a sheriff? He'll tell us that there's a guy named Myers in prison. Hey, we met Myers already. Well, we didn't meet him, but we saw him. So now we... That is a really weird visual effect. I'm not sure what it was supposed to be, but... Okay. So, before we go back and finish off with Myers and the Powder Gangers, we're actually going to sleep in this bed to relieve my tiredness, and because I believe it will heal all of my hit points. I was wrong. It did not heal all of my hit points. I actually need to figure this out. Hold on, 131 to 290. Sleep for an hour. Well, crap. So, I discovered something. Follow New Vegas regular. If you, um... If you sleep in a bed, it heals all your hit points if you're damaged. Hardcore mode, apparently it heals nothing. Other than the slight bit of uh, auto-healing you get normally. Um, just, just as standard on your character. Because I found out, actually, through an interesting, like, Let's Play I watched that if, you know, you just wait over time, you'll heal, I think it's two hit points every three hours, or, no, three hit points every two hours. <clears throat> I'm used to having a lot more stim packs by now. By this point, I'm used to having, like, 40 stim packs. And I just realized I only have, like, 13. Did give me quite a bit of hit points back, though, so... That's fine. I'm gonna have to be a lot more careful with how I, uh... with how I approach fights, with how I approach factions... And with who I piss off and when. So we're back here at the NCRCF. And before we do the one big last thing that we need to do, we're going to talk to Myers. Would willingly walk in. And uh, we'll ask him about being a sheriff. He'll tell us, you know, he can become Primzu Sheriff. And in exchange, he wants a full pardon for uh, some things he did while he was a sheriff of another town. Basically meaning... He kind of took the law into his own hands, and the NCR got mad with him for it, and said, you can't do that, and they jailed him for it. What the what? Why are there powder gangers here? Oh, shit! Wow, you're quite kind of tough, Myers. Myers! Myers! Apparently, Myers has learned the supernatural ability of phasing in and out of existence. Is Myers our cat bug? Well, having learned the ability of phasing in and out of existence, apparently he seems to be getting defeated by the concept of wall. Okay. As I mentioned earlier, I'm planning to do this on the NCR route. I mean, maybe not for the story purpose, but for dealing with the powder gangers, I'm going to side with the NCR. Because they're not that big of a threat, and once you clear out that facility, they generally don't do much, other than occasionally attack you. So I think in the long run, it's worth getting the NCR on side. I'm so all we have to do is tell Lieutenant count. Hayes that we know they're planning to Military attack the prison. Up. And, um, we'll tell him we want to help. I actually don't. I'm probably going to sit back and let the NCR do most of the heavy lifting. Um, but first we have to rendezvous with Sergeant Lee. So now that we're here... Sergeant Lee, as we can see, is sitting here waiting to attack the prison. And the general plan, if I recall, is they're going to blow holes in the side of it. They're going to go in and kill anybody who looks at them funny. And then make straight for the area where Eddie is. Um, and then, once they've done that, we're basically going to loot that area. Because I don't believe the NCR gives a, gives a shit um, if you do it. Not yeah, that's all the briefing we get. We're gonna blow a hole, and then we're gonna go kill Eddie. Um, are you gonna go kill Eddie? Are you gonna kill any of the powder gangers? Where are you going? I swear to God, if I end up having to do most of this by myself, I'm gonna be very, very agitated. Yeah, if you killed uh, a bunch of the guys in the, up in the towers and everything, it gets a lot easier for the NCR. On this note, normally... Because normally, um... And I generally do kill all the NCR on the guard... Or, I generally do kill all the powder gangers in the guard tower, which um, I found when I do that way, do it that way, and then they go in to kill Eddie. The fight is extremely one-sided. The powder gangers don't stand much of a chance at all if you do that. 
Um, also, what do I have? Okay. Plasma pistol is what I wanted. I think it is my highest damage weapon. Although, actually, the powder gangers don't have much armor, so I might be better off going with the 9mm because it's higher DPS. I don't have, don't have much ammo for it, but, again, 9mm ammo is pretty cheap. So, I'll probably just end up buying some more when I get back to Prim. And Hannigan's down here, so we're gonna help the NCR kill him. I'm gonna basically be batting my way through this. Actually, what is my agility? I completely forgot. One! So that's probably not the way to go. There we go. Three doctor's bags. Apparently nothing in that first aid kit. It's pre-war money. And they're all just going to crowd that doorway. And hopefully none of them will die. Is that an NCR guy firing at his own people? What the fuck is Sergeant Lee doing? Oh, there's a powder ganger in the middle of them. Okay. Quest completed. I fought the law. Eddie is dead. Awesome. And now, I get to pick through the corpses. Wait, what? Hold on. Did I just get the thing I thought I just got? A 10 millimeter submachine. Oh, that's really good. That's, even, that's way better than the 9mm. I mean... The ammo for it is a lot more scarce, but when I start actually getting up to, you know, around 100 rounds of it or so, I might want to start using that, because that's, yeah, that's, that's definitely worth it. The other nice thing, too, is if I loot this, the NCR doesn't care. I can take whatever I want, and the NCR literally doesn't mind. Damn it, I don't have a high enough thing to get there. Yep, see, do they care? Nope, just gonna sit there and watch me. So I can go in and just take all this stuff. And in this room, you'll find a bunch of ammo. And you'll also find a crate with explosives in it. So we got some dynamite, a frag grenade, and more dynamite. And uh, in this room, uh, the next room over, you'll find a line congressional style, which will give me three points to my speech. So we're, again, as I mentioned, for reasons I mentioned earlier, we're going to just use it. And then the final thing we need to loot is right here in this safe. Uh, fuck sticks. Well, we can just take all this stuff. That's fine. No one seems to care. You mind, buddy? You care about this? You gonna get angry in any way? No? Good. I'm gonna conceal this jet also. Yep, my jet. Yes, yeah, so with the powder gangers basically dealt with. I'm not even gonna bother looting all their bodies here yet. Because uh, I can come back. I'm actually probably gonna come back here later once I get average lockpick and get the stuff in that safe. There's a couple decent things in there that I want. Anyway, first I'm going to travel back to Good Springs. And I'm just going to drink all this not irradiated water. Um, gulp, 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 gulp. So, now that we're back here in town, Howdy. we can talk to Sunny Smiles. Uh, of course, Sans Cheyenne, sadly. But, uh, we can talk to her about Hi dealing with the Powder Gangers here. Something's while, wrong with your hair. You normally got lighter hair than that. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. Well, However, I'm gonna be honest, he doesn't really have a lot of friends left. The NCR did sort of murder most of, of them. So now we need to assemble a team to take on the Powder Gangers. And the first person we need to talk to, fuck. Well, this is kind of annoying. I think the good news is even if they're sleeping, we can still talk to them. So we're gonna go after Chet first. And this is why I kind of got the barter armor, or the barter outfit from Malcolm Holmes. Oh, one other thing. Sunglasses. There we go. Super awesome sunglasses. I think we can all agree, I look pretty bamf wearing them. Alright, Chet should be in here somewhere. Just a real quick check on what my barter is, because I forgot. Barter is 36. That should be enough to convince him. I think you only need a barter of 30. And, uh, because our barter is so high, we can make him up out of a deep sleep. And convince him to help us. Come to think of it, that might be why he helps us so willingly, is because he's still half asleep. Uh, I need supplies to fight the Powder Gangers. Oh, it's only Barter 25. Well, that's really easy. Well then, um, we'll barter with him, and he'll give us some leather armor and some ammunition. And now that that's done, we can take off the, the uh, bartering armor, or we can put on the leather armor, which will give us damage threshold of 6. Um, we'll also put on the raw high cap... As much as I like the Sheriff's Hat, I kind of need extra damage threshold now, and the Sheriff's Hat doesn't really give me that. 
I mean, admittedly, as soon as I can, I'm going to be trying to equip myself with, like, really heavy armor and, like, helmets and things. Uh, as soon as I can, sort of, get that stuff available to me. Ah, there's Doc Welcome Mitchell. Hello, back. Doc Mitchell. Uh, town's going to be attacked by bandits. Can you help See? me? Okay. Also, they'll be using explosives, and because I have medicine 30, you'll give me extra shit. Hey. Alright, so, that was nice and easy. Doc Mitchell gave us stuff. Easy Pete, I don't think will be as easy, because Easy Pete... Yeah, Easy Pete isn't really easy. Damn it, I still don't have 50 lock pick. I want to level up again soon so I can go back and pick some of these locks I couldn't pick before. Ah, a locksmith reader. That's useful. I mean, not so much immediately, because if I level... What the what? Oh, Trudy, so you live in a chair house? So with speech 25, you can just convince her, yeah, it'll be fun, we can kill the powder gangers, it'll be great, yeah, it's awesome. Um, but Sneak 25 will actually give you a much more, um, much more intelligent option, where we can just say, if we set up properly, we can ambush them, and that will give us an advantage. So I'm going to pick that one, just because, uh, it makes a lot more sense to convince someone, rather than just, you know, you know, push them and force them to be like, yeah, yeah, it'll be fun, come on, come on, and try to pressure them. If you say, show that you have solid tactics, you know, it just, it seems a lot nicer. And then the final one will be Easy Pete, who is sleeping in this bed. Which, admittedly, you can sleep in. It's not considered an own bed, oddly enough. I hear you've got dynamite. Never mind. I completely forgot. I didn't take my Mentats yet. Fuck! I didn't want to take the Medex. So, now I have Medex and Mentats. I wasted a Medex, but fine. I hear you got dynamite. Yes, I'm familiar with the care of handling of explosives, including dynamite. Uh -huh. Because I took some drugs. Alright, so we now have a bunch of extra dynamite. I'm probably not going to use it. I don't generally use dynamite. Or grenades, really. Um, actually, I do occasionally use grenades. I might use mines at some point. Um, not for the thing I normally use mines for, because I'm not going to do the thing I normally use the mines for. But, in the meantime, let's go back up and talk to Ringo. Who I'm sure has gotten kind of insane with waiting several days for me to go and do numerous other quests. Ringo? Ringo. Oh, right, you're sleeping there. Actually, have I looted this place yet? That doesn't look like I have. Well, might as well do it now. Okay, I need to get in a place he won't detect me. Namely, right on top of him. Yes, I am completely hidden from <laughs> Ringo's view. Right on top of his head. He will never know I'm there. So what's going on? Did Sonny agree to help us? Uh, yeah. Sorry it took so long, but I kind of got distracted by stuff. Well, I... Yeah, I basically did every... Oh, shh. Yeah, the blah, 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 blah. She gave me dynamite that over-encumbered me. Great. Yeah, that's a good way to get rid of some weight really quick, is get rid of some 9mm pistols, because they only weigh a pound and a half. And here we go. Oh! They weren't supposed to shoot me first. They were supposed to shoot someone else first. Cock. No. No, 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 no. Why are you shooting me only? Shoot somebody else that's not me. I keep forgetting I'm supposed to be a sniper. Balls. There we go. Why am I not getting experience for these guys? Oh, there's still people left, are there? Oh, Joe Cobb's cowering, is he? Well, screw you. Damn it, I need to reload. And now I'm vilified with the Powder Gangers. Surprise, surprise. But I'm idolized with Good Spring, so that's good. Oh! Fuck, sorry, 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 sorry. Well, I leveled up. You know what? I'm idolized with Good Springs. So if I just leave and come back, no one will care. I'm so sorry. I thought you were a Powder Ganger. I, I had no way of knowing. You look just like one from that particular angle. Because guns are going to continue to be important. And then, level 4, you just always take educated. There's no reason not to. Um, and we should be... I am so sorry. Easy Pete, will you please forgive me? Will you forgive me, Easy Pete? Oh, thank you for forgiving me. So, yeah. That's that done. That is several of these quests completed. Um, we took care of I Fought the Law, uh, My Kind of Town, and uh, Ghost Town Gunfight. There's a couple more things left we can do in Prim yet, and actually, is there? 
I don't think there is. I think there's there's one more thing we could potentially do in Prim. We could look at the top of the Bison Steve, because there's a bunch more. Uh oh. Oh, here we go. Am I gonna get addicted to either of these drugs? I took two sets of drugs. Not addicted. We're good. So yes, I might go back to uh, Prim and check the Bison Steve. Um, I am going to. I'm definitely gonna loot the main bit of the casino, the Vicky and Vance, because there's stuff there I kind of want. And then we're going to move on to the NCR Outpost and to Nipton. Uh, and then on to Novak. So that'll all probably be next time. Uh, but in the meantime, thanks as always for tuning in, guys. I was Ben, and this was Fallout New Vegas Hardcore Permadeath. See you next time, everyone.